it's almost like I'm making this to be a tutorial and I'm failing miserably at it. What's 27 by 2? Um, 54? <laughs> Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a book sleeve. Look at this. Look how cute. Fantastic. Um, I just, I love it. I use this when I carry any of my books with me. It's just so convenient. You can also customize them. So this one I'm going to make for a larger book because look at this mammoth. It's huge. You're not probably, probably not going to carry that kind of book with you. So. Um, it's very customizable. The ones I make, I just, first of all, in no way am I a professional. None at all. Like beginners or amateur at most. Um, but I think it's so easy to make one. You just need a bit of material, some um, like a band, um, button, and you can even sew it by hand. Sewing it by machine is a lot faster, but you can definitely sew this by hand. So. Mine is with a double material kind of thing, like with a lining inside. Um, you can make it without. It's really, I don't know. I keep rambling. Let me show you how I do it. Okay, so now we're on the floor and I want to show you everything I use for this and then I'll just start doing it. Um, first, you'll need a ruler. I have this giant one or you can also... Just use a regular one. Um, you'll need a pair of scissors. Um, this is a pencil. This is a marker just to mark on the material because I won't be able to see the pencil. Uh, you'll need some paper. I have this roll of paper from Ikea. And then a book, like relatively one that you want the size of. So I picked a larger book. This is like... 23, 24 centimeters. So I'm sure that my book sleeve fits bigger books as well. And then you'll need your material. Uh, I have two different ones. This is a black one for the lining. And then I have a little checkered red one for the outside. Uh, but you can use the same material. It really doesn't matter. Um, so let's measure it. I also have a cutting board, but I don't, I can't find my cutting thing. So we'll just do the scissor method. Oh, you also need some uh, pins to pin the material to the paper. Um, I'll have to get them right now. You also need these ones. Um, okay, so first let's measure how much we'll need. So we'll have our book. You kind of put it like this, kind of half. Let me reiterate this by saying I'm in no way a professional. This is just how I do it by trial and error. So if you don't want any error, just watch towards the end of the video when I point out the things that didn't work, if anything didn't work. So just so you're fine. Um, okay, so we go to the bottom. You will need about this much. What's 27 by 2? Um, 54? Where I haven't yet felt pain. Maybe... Okay, so this is way too big. So let's do smaller one. All right, so now that we have the measurements, which I will put on camera, uh, let's cut the material. You need one from the lining and one for the outside. So let's do that right now. I think somewhere in a different life I'm still seven in second grade I don't know. I'm so indecisive because it just looks so big. Okay, let's let's take three more centimeters off. It's just ridiculous. Okay. 
it's almost like I'm making this to be a tutorial and I'm failing miserably at it. And I'm so happy that I feel all right. And that I have it in my brain. So you have 34 and 48. 34 and 48. Okay, so let's do that. Let's pin this here. You have one piece and then do the same thing with the other material. Okay, now you have your two materials. This is the outside and this is the inside, right? So they're perfect for each other. Now, what you want to do is the inside layer, you want to see which side is the good one. So for my material, this is the good side. So I'm going to put, how am I going to do? The good side down. Wait, let me figure this out. And maybe somewhere in a different world. Okay, I figured it out. All right, so with the outside material, the good side, you want to not be visible, okay? So the good side, you're going to put a good side against good side. So you're going to bend it like this. And you're going to saw these lines. So you're going to saw this part and you're going to saw this part completely. You have to make sure that the top is left alone. And then for the inner layer, you again, good side with the good side, you close it. And then when you saw it, you saw this part. So the bottom you saw completely, but this part where you just put the materials together, you're going to saw here and here you're going to leave a little piece at the middle and completely leave the top. So the top you don't want to saw yet. So let's do that. My mom's a bug inside a tree. My dad's a scientist who captured her. But now it's time to set her free Or maybe somehow in this skull of mine I find it hard to see the truth Hi, so this is the editing me because the filming me didn't record the audio properly. Yay! So what you're going to have to do now is to turn the outside layer, so the red one, inside out so the right like the nice side of the material is shown then you're going to take the inner layer which is the black one in my case and leave it exactly the same this one you do not turn inside out so then you want to shove the red layer into the black layer and just make sure it's properly aligned because you're going to sew it afterwards so you want to make sure everything is like fine like a corner to another if that makes sense I really hope it does um, and you're also going to want to like once everything is perfectly aligned you want to mark the middle because um, then you'll have to add a button and an elastic on different sides and it's very important that when you saw those you put them inside so once you flip everything through the middle part it's like everything is going to be fine. So you, you're going to want to sew the top completely. Make sure you don't sew the four of them. You'll see in the video. I don't think I'm explaining it that well, but you will see in the video. So just, I'm sorry, and please keep watching. Thank you. Okay, we've got to this point. Let's saw the, um, the button inside and then I'll go back to sewing the rest. Tell them what you My name is now that the button is secure, let's saw the rest of the way here. Mm -hmm. 
Now you take this part, bend it, and saw it inside. All right, now we've sewn all around this, so all around the top. And if you look here, it's like fully sealed with everything. So now you want to take the part that you didn't saw in here and just push everything through this hole, like everything. See? And you have to be a little gentle so you don't break all of your needlework. Okay. Just like this. And push it inside out. So now, see how perfect everything is? You have the button there, you have this little thing here. Now, what you want to do is saw this part through which you pushed everything so it's fully sealed. So, saw this part here. And then push this inside your sleeve. All right, and the last thing that you want to do is to go with the sewing machine all around this part. So it's like, you can leave it like this, it's perfect, but you want to take it like saw all these parts here all around again be very careful not to saw these parts together but let's do that so my camera got cut off at the end but i hope that i explained everything in a cohesive manner though i'm not sure how much i actually explained well because i tend to ramble and just go all over the place so i hope this wasn't the case but this is a book sleeve that we ended up with. It's so nice. Uh, this is on the bigger side, I think. The other ones I make are smaller. Yep. Not that much, but you know, they're smaller. And it's just the finish is so nice, as you can see. And I love that there's two colors. Um, I also chose black for the inside because it's harder to dirty, but I mean, it fits perfectly. Look at that. And you can carry your book and not be worried that it's going to get messed up or dirty or bend in your bag or anything like that. And then you hook it here. And how cute is that? So this was the book sleeve tutorial. I hope I helped at least a little bit, at least a tiny bit. I really hope I did. And yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. and like the video if you did like it and consider subscribing because i talk about everything about books so yeah thank you and bye i just give the earth my soul hear my thoughts bounce off the walls